Potion for Jess. Yeah. Okay, so we're at Rimshot Studios and they have this amazing Decker desk here. And it got me thinking about a drum technique that uh, I was showing. Um, and the idea is there's three mics. There's one on the top of the kit, one in front of the kit, and one on the side of the kit. And it's a mono technique. You just balance them up however you think sounds cool. Um, and traditionally it should be three of the same mics like a Neumann M50s or something but I've never had access to three of those so I just use whatever I've got around it can be fancy mics or it can be you know just 57s whatever so we're out here in the drum room and I've got three mics set up uh, I've got two AEA 44s um, which one is set up above the snare and that is basically measured about 110 centimeters from the center of the snare. I then have another one in front of the drum kit, which basically from the center of the snare. And a, a third, I don't have three of these mics, so I'm just using a, uh, a Telefunken U47. And that's from the side, exactly the same measurement from, from the side of the snare. Now you can actually use um, any mics really, I just use whatever's sort of around. I mean, mics like U87s are great. Originally the technique is, is using something like an M50 or something like that, but just try whatever you've got, it doesn't matter. And I have a little bit of top end and low end on the two ribbon mics just to give them obviously a bit of top end and a bit of low end. Take a listen and see what you think. Clint's mic's up the kit, um, it's a basic three microphone technique that he explained, which is great. Um, really nice, roomy, natural drum sound. If we're being critical in a modern context, we can't hear the toms speaking as well within the context of the sound. So what we've done is we've taken a couple of pretty normal dynamic, um, large diaphragm dynamic mics. Most people would know these from um, kick drums, sometimes vocals in the 60s and 70s. They're great, decent capsule, similar to probably what the 421 has as a capsule, which is a Tom mic of choice. We've thrown them up, mixed them in with the, um, uh, the three mic technique. I've panned out on this occasion, um, I've panned out for my sound bite, the overhead snare mic away from the center and the 47 away from the center in the opposite direction. It's just given the drums a little bit of width um, and then position the tom mics in a similar place in the stereo field and just kind of use these to bolster the tom sound in the mix. We check phase against the rest of the kit. Um, one of the mics needed to be flipped, the other one didn't. Um, it doesn't matter which one, how we do it, um, as long as when you pop the phase in and out you hear a difference and one sounds better to you. There's no rules. Um, and it's as simple as that. So what we'll do is um, we'll record a bit um, and uh, let you have a listen. So while we're here at Rimshot Studios, we've got access to lovely room, um, really good drummer, very well tuned drum kit. Um, and we thought we'd try something a bit more fun, which is to use some of these mics, which um, I got $99 a piece um, when I was out in America. They come as part of various drum um, miking kits. Um, AKG do them, um, Sennheiser, various companies. Normally you can pick up a pack for about 300 quid or less. So what we did um, is put six of them on the drums. So we've got close mics on the kick, the snare, two toms, and then we've got a couple of overheads, which are kind of in the slightly unconventional position, but they're still centered around the snare. So it's just a different technique rather than just being the two normal over the top overheads. Um, and we gave it a go. They're going into the console, the SSL console here, bit of EQ to just sit them in, um, but we've got a great drum sound. The drummer's done a brilliant job and um, the room sounds good. 
And with the overhead mics being a little bit of a distance away, we can use compression if necessary to pull sound out of the room. But as six cheap mics, um, very, very good basis for a drum sound. And uh, people will discover that I actually don't know a thing. Yes, you do. Stop it.